Okay, in this video, I'd just like to compare the properties of a bipolar junction transistor and a field effect transistor. Now, this is going to be pretty quick because um, I, I don't need, I think I've, I've discussed these separately, so I'm just going to put them together in a, a, a kind of structured way. So on the left here, I'm going to talk about the BJT, and on the right, we're going to talk about our field effect transistor. So I'm going to do it, like I said, do this very quickly. So in my video on the BJT, and it, I, I said the following. I said this was current controlled. I said uh, it was bipolar. What does that mean? Bipolar means that both carriers are used. Okay, we use both holes and electrons. It's got a good fan out. What does fan out mean? It means that a BJT can actually power, you can power a lot of other components through a BJT, whereas where I'll talk about a FET in a moment, but fan out means you can power a lot more, you can power, or good fan out means you can pow power a lot of other components after your transistor. Alright? It's got a high power consumption. What else? It's a good linear am amplifier. And fin finally, it requires, I'm going to say, up for a lot of silicon. Okay, so it requires a lot of material to build a BJT. And just to draw the uh, the, the load line and the current, we'll say the current um, the current diagrams. If we have up here, we have the current on the collector, and on the bottom, we have uh, we have the following: we have voltage across the collector and the emitter. Like that, and if we draw all our different currents along uh, on the base, all right, we have a thing called the load line. The load line looks something like this. That's our load line. And we're going to co contrast that with the uh, with the the FET in a moment. So in our FET, we have. I'm going to do this in. Uh, I'm going to do this in red. This one is voltage controlled. It's unipolar, so it's, it just uses the it just uses negative electric charge. It's got poor fan out. It's got a low consumption of power. It's got good switching speed. Actually, wait, it's a well, second. It's a poor. It's a poor linear amplifier. I'll show you why in a moment. It's got good switching speed, and finally, it's got low noise. All right, and just to sketch what the I'm gonna I'm kind of running out of uh, room, but just I'm gonna sketch this staggered. We're gonna have the current on the drain, the current, the voltage, excuse me, across the drain, and the source. We're gonna have our current here again so that's our the way we're gonna have okay like that okay on the and uh, that's going to be on the uh, let me think now collector emitter that's going to be on the gate I'm pretty sure it's on the gate I'm open to correction on that that's current on the gate and if you look at this we get a pinch off region and the pinch off region looks something like this and because of the pinch off region this isn't a good linear amplifier so uh, that's really all I gotta say about that thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel